Exactly. Old. Be right back. Skeezer. Definitely not a skeezer. Dean, what happened back there? My mistake. Won't happen again. Better not. Problem? You know, cop and tunnel. Well, allow me, your lordship. Thanks. Mm. Howdy. Agent Strummer, this is Agent Vi. Uh, hi. Do you recognize this girl? She was here three nights ago. She started coming in a few weeks ago after Connor got hired. Ask him. So you like high school girls, do you? Hmm? You get older, they stay the same age, is that it? That's not how it was. And the night she got attacked, did you let her in that night too? Look, I don't know what happened. I was behind the bar the whole night. I didn't even see her leave. Hmm. And then what'd you do? Guess I went home. Guess, guess I went home. What were you doing last night? Oh, uh, killing the victim. Me? Yeah. Oh, I was writing my report. And then? Well, I watched an episode of The Great British Bake Off and went to bed. Ah, see? Simple. I went home, man. And I didn't do anything to that girl, okay? Yeah. Well, we'll see. Oh, one more thing. Um, did you happen to meet a uh, blonde girl the other night by Yay Hai, Feisty? Yeah, yeah. Said she was Hayden's cousin. <laughs> you ever touch her again, I'll break your face. I kind of love that. I kind of love it. Nice work in there. Thank you. Yeah, that alibi almost bought it. Sorry? See, here's the thing about 16-year-old girls. They don't just die. And you've been acting sketchy all day. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh. <clears throat> what did you do to her? I did what needed to be done. And that means? Last night, I injected her with silver nitrate. So you killed her? Oh, she attacked me. She tore up my shoulder and I had orders. Well, you had a choice. Did I? Killing monsters is what we do. Or maybe palling around with demons and witches you've forgotten. Don't tell me how to do my job. I didn't do it. You think it's that simple, huh? I really do. Yeah. I used to think the same thing. Which he did. I wonder how Sam's gonna react to this news as well. Claire, why does Jody think you're in Madison looking at colleges? You called her? Did you tell? No, not yet. But why are you lying to her? Look, I, I know, okay? I know how much I owe Jody. But we tried the whole hunting thing and I just ended up sitting in the car while she does everything. She wants me to be normal, go to nursing school like Alex. Did she actually say that? She doesn't have to. I'm better off on my own. Another bad mistake. Claire, Jody's not gonna be happy when she finds out. And if something happened to you... I'm careful! You need to tell her the truth. You know what? Screw you. I'm so sick of you guys dive bombing my life, pretending like you care. You do care. Then stop treating me like a stupid kid. And stop acting like one. Well said, Samantha. She needed to hear that. She is acting like a stupid kid. Was that the other bartender, the one that was like, look, I really need this job? And she actually got bit then, didn't she? So he wants to turn the girls yet he killed the, the brother. So Claire's now gonna be a werewolf as well. This is not good. We gotta cool her off, she's burning up. No, 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 keep her warm. Back off, shut up. Look, yeah, keep I him understand away. you're angry. If you killed a kid, we're not angry, we're done. How long have I got until? Sometimes it takes a full moon, sometimes it just takes time. Hey, hey, listen to me. Look, nobody said this is gonna be easy, okay? But you can live with this. No way. Hey, look, so you you have to stay locked up a few nights out of the month, okay? The rest of the time, you're you. Mostly we'll break out. Maybe some people can control this, but I can barely keep it together on a good day. Oh so if there's any chance that I could hurt Jody. Oh my God, no. Clear. There may be another way. There's there's a, the, the blood therapy that you talk about. I told you, it doesn't work. That study was on mice. You want to tell me what the hell he's talking about? We experimented with the blood of sire werewolves, and we found it was possible to reverse the early stages of lycanthropy in rodents. So you never tested on humans? Once. And? And the subject died. 
in agony. Sorry. Maybe second time's a charm. Hey, no, no, you don't get a vote in this. It's my life. I get all the votes. Sam, you want to back me up here? It's her life. Dean, please. I can't. All right. If we do this, if, how do we get it done? We need blood. Live blood. From the werewolf that bit her. Okay, great. Who are we looking at? They need to fix this, because I can't think about Jodie's heartbreaking. Let's go. Now you. You stay with her. You're trusting Mick around Claire? I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I mean, it didn't look like his mouth area, but I could have been wrong. Yo! All right, don't move, don't move. It's silver. I say it didn't look like him. Jesus. Oh, is it? Oh, dear. You don't understand. It's happening. Give it to me. No. Then you do it, please. It's happening and you don't understand how this feels. I know a man that would shoot you right now without a moment's thought. And every instinct I have says he's right. But I ought to do my duty. But... He's still replaying the last one. Why would they not have at least tied her up or locked her in the bathroom? <laughs> okay, here's what we're going to do. Firstly, we're going to restrain you, right? For my protection, okay? I gotta call Jody. I don't feel ready for that phone call. She's gonna be so mad at me. She won't know, she's just gonna be upset. Okay, get back! I got it right. Freaking nailed it. Her? Where is she? The wolf. He took her. What did I tell you? I tried to stop him, okay? Eat me, Teen Wolf. It's not like I want to do this. My pack, we were happy. We didn't hurt anyone. And then hunters with weapons that I'd never seen before, they show up and <laughs> take out 20 of us, just like that. The ones that made it, we split up, but we weren't meant to live like that. A werewolf needs his pack. So they're just trying to get the numbers back up from what the Men of Letters have got rid of. <laughs> Eyes change when she looks at the There it is. Claire. Claire. Easy. Sorry, kid. Doesn't it have to be live blood? Claire, Claire. She looks terrifying like that. Okay, Claire, it's us. You know us. Is that thing ready yet? Ready, straight, go, go, go. She wanted this, right? Oh, yeah. Please, now. This is gonna work, isn't it? It will work. Let me get some air. Claire? Dane. Mind you, that happened to the other one as well. Oh no. Right, it worked, it worked guys. Jodie's gonna be okay. That girl is a walking miracle. So there you she did is. indeed murder that other girl. Listen, uh, thanks for the wind back there. Yeah, so we're good. Not quite, but we'll give you a second chance. Just don't mess it up, there won't be a third. Okay. 
Hey, how are you feeling? Honestly, I'm sort of craving a milk bone right now. <laughs> Look, what I said before, you guys are here when I need you and that's all that matters. You gonna tell Jody what happened? I don't know. I think you should. Hey, it's me, Claire. Okay, um, here it goes. I've been hunting, alone. Good girl. And Good I know it's girl. not what you want to hear. And I know it sounds scary. It scares me too sometimes, but this is something I have to do on my own. Just for a little while. But I'm ready. And I never would have been if it wasn't for you being my mother. Well, I better go. Um, tell Alex you better not touch my stuff. There's that family thing again. Topic, arc, story, whatever you want to call it. <sighs> Hitting me in the feels. I'm a wild I'm a real wild child. Okay. So that one, that one was definitely a filler episode. 100%. Maybe 99% because the whole Mick thing being involved was, a, I guess, part of the main story with it being the Men of Letters. But overall, filler episode. I was worried that they were gonna kill Claire off then, mainly, because I didn't want to see Jodie distraught at the thought of losing one of her children. And plus Dean and Sam would never have forgiven themselves, keeping that secret from Jodie anyway, working the case with her that led to her death, blah, blah, blah. So I'm glad that she survived that. Mick, I do feel like Mick is working for himself. He does have his role, but I do think that he's thinking more so about his own personal journey rather than his orders and I think that has a lot to do with him seeing Sam and Dean and how they work as well because if he didn't know that Claire would have been killed and they could have saved her like this shows and he killed the previous girl and she did not need to be killed they could have tried this whole blood therapy thing on her Yes, it might not have worked. It was like one in nine on rodents. So I guess Claire was the one in nine, I guess, which would probably mean that it wouldn't have worked again, but you never know. But I, I loved seeing Sam and Dean fight for Claire and just really be supportive. Dean threatening the guy in the bar and then Sam threatening Mick as well, saying that he just, he has one more shot or whatever. And it, well, he had one shot and he blew it type of thing. Whereas they've, they've sort of come around to the idea of helping him out, but another mistake by him, he will be done. But yeah, other than that, filler episode and yeah, it was good. It wasn't bad, but didn't really move the, the whole plot along much, but I enjoyed it nonetheless. And I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to it. If you did, please give this video a cheeky thumbs up and subscribe, you know, if you want to, but there's no pressure here. I have the full uncut versions of these over on Patreon. If you're interested in that, please click on the link in the description below, along with my social media, second channel, PO box, merchandise, you name it, it is down there. So head on over there and check it out. And I hope to see you all again soon for the next reaction. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.